I've never really talked about uh, my passions for like what I wanted to research before. But when I moved here, I was like felt really alone. I was in darkness. There wasn't much of a path for me. I don't have anything to offer this person. Like I, I don't belong here. A lot of times I had people questioning my ability or people just assuming that I didn't understand either the language or the material. And I didn't really have a reflection of who I was and so I was always, I doubted myself, I always doubt myself. I had people telling me, see, like, there's no way you would succeed. I mean, do you think you're really going to succeed in science? I have this end goal that I want to get to, but I'm not sure how to get there. I come from nothing. <laughs> I am completely alone. Until now, I'm surrounded by people that offer encouragement and support and believe in me in a way that I've never experienced. All of the mentorship, so there are the academic advisors and the career advisors, the laboratory mentors, all of us together collectively to improve science and improve the working conditions in science. Every day I'm understanding myself a little bit more just by being with these people and actually feeling like I can actually talk and feeling like I have a say and feeling that I can be something and do something in my life. Not not just about, you know, being welcomed, right? Like, that was awesome, being welcomed into a place because she's a very warm human being, but um, being told that, you know, I was valued and then having that modeled every single day and, and being able to be trusted with important tasks and then it's okay if something is wrong, let me show you how to do it appropriately. And, he didn't want it just to be research experience, but he wanted it to be like a personal growth experience too. He was very patient. Like, I've cracked so many fish tanks in that lab. I've cracked so many things. One thing that I loved about my mentor relationship with my PI, Dr. Blakesley, is the fact that when immediately when I entered her lab, she asked, um, what is it that you'd like to learn? As my career mentor, we got to present to Congress in DC, which I loved because it was for art and um, science education. The opportunity to have um, doctors and PhDs invest in us with their time and their expertise um, is really exciting to me and it's an opportunity that most people don't get. I feel like everybody in Exodo kind of became like my aunt and, my aunt and uncle or like you know an extra mom to me so it, it's just been a really beautiful experience and I'm, I'm, I'm just happy to be part of this little family we have here. As a student, as a person coming into a new field, it is not only incredibly important to learn the skills, right? You can't do the job without the skills, but those personal connections and that, that feeling of belonging mm -hmm. is so incredibly important. I don't know if I could keep going and doing this. And with the mentorship, I have no doubt that I can.